All right, so you are already familiar with the Project Server 2010 solution and running on a server platform, and you want to see the capabilities of the resource manager made by Projectum. In this video, we're going to create a simple resource request on a new project that we initiate from the project center of Project Server 2010. First, let's go to the project portal, also known as the project web application. From here, we're going to go straight to the project center from where you get the overview of current running projects and also have the possibility of changing or starting new projects. So by hitting the new button and for instance, selecting the project type called Project on Small and giving the project a name could be Project Some Resource Manager Demo and hit save. This will then create a new project or new request if you are the project owner and also the pages that you need to fill out in order for this project to move ahead in the stage gate model. In this case, we have added the standard out of the box PDP the project detail page known as project information so that we can change the name and the description and so on. Also the strategic impact feature, which some of you already know, where you can eval evaluate your project up against uh, important business drivers. And also in this case, we now have the resource manager, uh, which is a web part that will be launched by hitting it, which automatically loads with the current project called, in this case, Projectum Resource Manager. And that's why the Projectum Resource Manager is now available from the projects list. This is actually a web part, or also known as the Resource Manager module, which um, is created by our company, Projectum. This enables resource, uh, sorry, project managers or project owners to create new requests on new project ideas or currently running projects. The way it works is that we have um, the project list from where we can select projects. We have time settings from and to so that we can ourselves determine in which period we need resources. We have different views, could be weeks or months, and then we have an action button which will update the grid below. Further down, we have um, two columns called R and the A. The R stands for requests and the A is for allocations. As a project owner, we can only request resources and not allocate. The allocation needs to be done, needs to be done by the line manager. So the way we start off is that we hit the Project and Resource Manager project and hit the Insert Resources button. This will then prompt you with a filter setting box from where you can select exactly which resources you're going to need for this project. By hitting, for instance, Norway, we get the available resources from Norway and also the role that they might have. These are all custom fields from the resource settings in Project Server, so, so you can actually, it supports your, your own resource fields um, rather than being hard-coded into the module. So if you, for instance, are running not with a country custom field, but with a competencies or um, skill or whatever kind of name you have associated with your resources, they will be available from this module and it supports up to four different uh, custom fields on the resource level. So Norway didn't have, have a lot of resources to offer, so we're going to select the Denmark um, country instead, from where I have access to four different skill sets that I can do requests on. Analysts, consultants, developers, and project managers. I'm going to request a developer for this project and hit OK. So now the developer resource is inserted into the grid here, and I can hit the R column for October and do a request on one FTE, meaning full-time equivalent resource, one in November, 0 0.5 in December, 1.5 in January, and two in December. This could be a very simple resource plan. I can also hit the comments box here, and write to my line manager that I'm going to need a developer who knows something about .NET plus Java plus some SQL basic knowledge. This is a way of writing exactly to your line managers what kind of skill sets are needed into the same position or role if you could uh, select yourself as a project manager. So this request will now be sent away by hitting the publish request button and later on received by the line manager, which you will see in another video. Also notice that you have the option of adding other skill sets to the same project. So by hitting the insert resource button, we can also go back to the same Denmark country and find, for instance, a consultant, which we will need one of in November and one of in January. Again, we can hit the publish button 
And by going straight to the request report, we can, as project managers or project owners, see from the grid here that we have some requests, which are all in red. And the reason that they are in red is because they have not been allocated in return to us from the line managers. Below, you'll see the stack chart of developers versus consultants throughout the period that we have requested on, and also the amount of FTEs needed in total for running this project. From here, we can close the project and go back to the main page. And this will end our first video